That's right folks, it's Friday night and you know what that means. That means time for more Valkyria Chronicles. If you recall, last time we were about to uh, have a big old boss fight and let's see if we can uh, actually make it this time. Let me catch you up on the current situation. There's the giant uh, fuck off tank. side. Don't be caught out uh, behind or in front of him and he should ideally be fine. Well, once we actually figure a way to, out a way to uh, take him out, That actually things are going to be a, bit, be a bit more complicated, but I'm sure you'll see uh, for yourself soon enough. We'll commence combat now. Stay sharp out there. That tank is our target. We have to stop it. Squad 7, move out! <laughs> now, dear Galleons, flee or be crushed underfoot of the battles. Your Grace, I will eliminate the forces east of the temple, then return to provide support. Very well. Though I doubt I shall require your assistance. The Batamists shall rest atop their riven camp before long. Welkin, take a look at that tank! Holy... With armor like that, I don't figure my anti-tank lance will do much good. And I don't like the look of that cannon. Standing in front of that thing's a bad idea. That's a sad bird. Let's watch and wait for now. It has to have some kind of weak point. So yeah, um, obviously there's the tank, but also there's a bunch of enemies around. Um, let's see. And we don't want him getting here. You'll not harm my people. I'll see the enemy exposed. Well, that's at least your order, step sir. in the right direction. I'm impressed, but not surprised. I'll see the enemy exposed. I'll see the enemy exposed. Imperial tank approaching. I'll see the enemy exposed. Let's move all on. Not anti-tank dudes. Uh, over to deal with our enemies. Uh, hopefully that should make things easier. Let's do this thing. Alright, I guess there was a shortcut here. 
Well, hello there, buddy. Here I come. Man down. Uh, scouts and snipers and anti tank dudes. Those aren't much of a threat uh, for Rosie right now. I'll try my best. So yeah, I think we should probably move. We don't know what that thing's up. got. Be careful. I like didn't fail her huh, now. Just watch this. Your joker's still all right. Entirely sure what the firing arc on the Entering combat. main gun is, but let's move the wise auto. It's injured. Remember to use Ragnarok. In either case. I see Gallians headed your way. You got it, hon. Yoko. Okay, let's see if we're like how the heed my words and no victory thing works. Loose your fire, men! Annihilate our enemies! No, no. 
out. Go down. But yeah, Rosie's a trooper. She doesn't care about that. Might take care about an anti-tank lens to the face, but if it's just going to miss, that's more than okay with me. Also, oh, hello to the newcomer. I hope you're having a nice evening or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. That'll do it. Damn it. Well, that's obviously not ideal, but I'll try my best. luckily, Medic! he kind of ragdolled right into her co uh, it's comrade's be all right. arms. Leave so it to me. I'm sorry. No biggie. There's nothing I can do. Well, you can kill the Lost. son of a bitch. You just murdered your friend. Ha! And I'm on a roll. Enemy unit neutralized. Okay, now obviously Claudia's in a bit of a pickle. Uh, since everybody's every guy. Uh, machine gun is shooting at her right now, but we just don't move her, Sh she should be fine at least for okay. this time. just going to go I'm uh, moving around on the assumption that uh, the tank needs to fire its main gun at the beginning of his turn not after moving uh, I mean there's really the game really hasn't given me any indication so far but I feel like otherwise it would be kind of bullshit so I I do hope Leave it to Aunt Yoko. the game agrees with me on that. Ah! Oh dear, you can go. Ah! Jesus this is Christ. Embarrassing. Yeah, machine guns are pretty devastating in Just overwatch positions. want to shoot my own tank. You're done! Okay. For you, sure. Miss Medic! Don't you worry. I'll take care of it. How could this happen? Okay. okay, please don't miss now, Jan. I'm counting on you. Yeah! I never doubted you for a second. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Who are these guys? Okay. 
guess we can bring in Rosie and uh, Yoko just now. and no victory. Loose your fire, men! Annihilate our enemies! Okay, at least nobody's got run over. <laughs> Capturing a camp is for the feeble. Needless bother when it can be crushed outright. He's just gonna mow our camps down. Keep your head, Lieutenant. That desert is covered by parts of standing ruins. If you shell unstable walls, fragments may fall and block the enemy's tank progress. Roger that. I'll give it a try. The team east of the temple is in bad shape. Some woman is sending up some major fireworks. At this rate, they'll be forced to withdraw. I understand. We'll try to hold our ground here. All right. Let's slow that behemoth down with as much rubble as we can throw in front of it. Listen closely. This information could save your life. Okay, so, yeah. Shoot at the ruins to block his path. For this world. It's gonna be all right. Leave it to me. You're all right. Stay strong. Treatment. Hmm. 
not amazing, but hopefully it's going to be a okay. bit of a help. They need to get out of there. Entering combat. My words and no victory. Loose your fire, men! Annihilate our enemies! Sticking up out of the top of the tank. They're radiators, heat sinks for dissipating the temperature of the Ragnite fuel cell. They must be using them to cool the cannon after firing it. Welks, if we destroy them, it could greatly upset the tank's function and stability. All right, let's try it. We just need to get to those radiators after the cannon fires. They're positioned atop the tank, so ground units will need to climb the ladders. Okay, we've got to take out the guns and get troops onto that tank. Combat. Medic! Don't you worry. I'll take care of it. Please, do what you can. Leaves two radiate. Lieutenant, squads one and three have suffered heavy losses out east. I'm pulling them out. I know what you guys are thinking. Not too bad so far, right? Ah, uh, well. Bullshit's about Lieutenant, to start. It's me, Valdio. 
I'm sorry, but we couldn't do a thing against her. She had a spiral lance and shield. They... They were the arms of a Valkyria, Welkin. It's likely her unit will be arriving there soon, as backup. Do not, I repeat, do not engage her. Now hurry up and stop that tank. Under... We need those radiators out now! We're sending units out to both sides. Doesn't it have any weak spots? Destroy that oversized tank! of those uh, guns are taken out, we'll be needing more of those kinds of dudes. I'll take care of it. Can I? Ah, that's right. Here goes. Yoko. Sorry, dear. I'm impressed, but not surprised. You're a great woman. going to lose Alita there for a second. Uh, but she seems to be doing fine. Don't let them go! Chase them down! And... I'll take care of it. Give me some more breathing room. Uh, but I think we're probably better uh, collecting our forces at the next camp. Been waiting here. Because I don't think we'd be able to save this one. Uh, You're done! This is a dust trap. Oh dear. Oh, let's at least walk her back. And Here we go. And I guess might as well. Now. In advance. There's that much mass. Where is the exhaust? 
Imperial tank approaching. Maximilian. Cobalt flames of the Valkyrie. Smite our foes! All forces, there stands Gallia. Claim her! Troops have arrived. If the reports are true, we can't beat it. Everyone, focus on that last radiator. Yeah. Now, firing capabilities lost. They've got my turret. Uh, yeah. So, Savaria. Support your advanced units. And she's, uh, she's a uh, well let. I don't know how to put this. She's a bit Imperials, of in. my hassle to deal with. Basically, she's uh, invulnerable. She's Hassel's got approaching. insane range. She's got insane damage. She's yeah. We don't know what that thing's got. Be careful. Basically, uh, you you don't want to deal with her. She's that also got uh, a way. bunch of dudes with her, which. Uh, annoying, but not as much of a problem. But Keep your heads down. Yeah, not great. And the other very annoying thing about her is that she's got uh, a lot of movement points too, uh, which means that she's running all over the place, and her AI like purposefully uh, kills you down troops, but. Uh, since she's running all over the place, uh, it's that much more likely that uh, what sooner or later she's going to just step into the same spot and uh, the game doesn't care about uh, whether she did that on purpose or not, uh, it still kills your dude, so yeah. Entering combat! Shit's just gotten real. If we can maybe move the Edelweiss out of dodge. Stay close out there! Yeah, shit. I guess I screwed myself over just a bit. Yeah, and I feel like I'm probably in his insta kill range. Can I squeeze past here? Okay. I can. Have Don't let them provoke you! That's a relief. Okay. Lago, of course, but 
if only for the additional uh, movement point. Uh, Let's do point. this thing. But yeah, as you Prepare can see, she's uh, attacking us from all the way over there, and now I ran out of eight action points. And yeah, as you can also see, she's you'll not harm my people. Shit ton of damage. So you won't hit me. I'll, I'll see it. the enemy exposed. Well, please. Seem to know about uh, team fire or group fire or whatever it's called. This mission fucking me up quite badly the first few times, but uh, from what I, ah yeah, that's more like it. Uh, I was just saying I, from what I remember, the AI wasn't being completely brain dead. So yeah, I guess it's kind of finding its groove now. Maybe. I guess shooting at my infantry isn't the worst thing the Mancers could be doing, all things considered. <sighs> Wavy, you're, you're... Prepare yourself! You're amazing.
ready for action. Enemy sighted. Get ready. Die. Did you see that? You're doing well. Just keep it up. Enemy sighted. Get ready. Don't let a chance slip past you. Enemy sighted. Get ready. I'll try my best. I see one. We don't know what that... The grenade isn't going to do much damage to the Lancer, but uh, it's going to, you know, knock him off his feet, and then he's, he won't be have the in cover bonus anymore. So Look, don't fail me now. should be an easier target now, and you know, I don't mind getting rid of the nice work. Keep taking him down, other dude. And unless I'm mistaken, being behind Severia means we should be safe. You'll not harm my people. You won't hit me. Your orders, sir. Man down. Everybody be careful. No. Nope. <laughs> Complete the objective ASAP. Okay, let's Entering the combat. Device around the pit. Enemy unit sighted. Be careful, soldiers. Imperial unit sighted. Please be careful. I think we should be good. Do I have anyone who needs an insane amount of help? Nope. on that thing is insane. Die! I mean, if Claudia wasn't a uh, trooper, uh, we'd be... things would be looking a lot more dicey now. People. No, move her out of sight, but Murdered! I guess not. Fight this thing! I'm almost there! <sighs> Another life I swore to protect. Uh, let's see. Last Go, go, go! Yeah, the last uh exhaust port or whatever radiator thing. Don't get careless. They could uh, be anywhere. This is the one on the left, so let's watch the distance between you and the enemy. Punk her down here and we should be able to run up to him after he's gotten rid of that wall. Unless uh Savaria fucks us up first. 
Huh. On a move now. Guess we won't be needing those my plus after all. Order's in order. guys for no particular reason. Entering combat. Let's try something because her being where she is is kind of in the way. And from what I remember, you can't actually hurt her, but you can still knock her on my ass. Yeah, I guess I remember strong. Penetrating enemy lines! But we can at least put the uh, Edelweiss between her and our guys. Let's heal away the one. Alright, listen up! Soldier wounded! Get some treatment! Also give him a defense boost, why not? This is an order! Brace hey, up and get ready to defend most, yourself! Uh, I've used all of us in the entire game so far. I'm on my way. Please don't let up on the offense. Yeah. So that's their commander. This? For Galia! There we go. All right! That's the last of the radiators! Ah! Presumptuous little vermin. Your Grace! Are you all right? Fine. The tank itself is perfectly intact. Though not for long at this rate. Understood. The enemy tank has been damaged. That should also impair its defenses, Sevens. Everybody, concentrate fire on that tank. Take it down! Yeah, because, uh... You didn't think this would be it. Try to stay sharp. Let's all get back home alive. Now we also need to blow this tank up. Which is why I brought back all my uh, rocket launcher dudes. Here we go! Yeah. And they got a shit ton of that. Keep your head down! Of HP. We don't know what that thing's got. Be careful. Uh. Well, hopefully I'm not in insecure land. Here we go! Let's see. Hey. Ah, let's just make sure. Then hurry that way. Please follow. And also... Eh... 
Let's hope Savaria won't be able to flank us like this. Roger! What's the range on those lances? I mean... At this range the accuracy isn't great, but... On the other hand, uh, this thing is bigger than most barn doors, so yeah, I think we'll be fine. Fire! Uh, come on, man. Seriously. Focus on making smart choices, soldiers. I just had to go out and jinx it. Roger! Stupid mouth. Just watch this. You're done. Target sighted. Been waiting here. But seriously, I did have this. You're done. I do remember having a significantly harder time with this mission last time around. Uh, I wonder if there's like a fourth stage sure. to the fight I'm forgetting about. Uh, if maybe I just got lucky this time. Well, uh... Marco, you're the only man for me. Let's eat that ch Die for me, sweetie! Like, there's still kind of the chance that Zavaria's just going to run around, uh, flank uh, the Edelweiss and hit it right in its weak spot and blow it up in mo with one attack, but... Uh, you got it, hon! I mean, at this point there's nothing I could do to stop her from doing that, so... Let's just hope she doesn't. Hit, please! Let's hope she goes for one of the many, many, much more obvious targets. Probably coming in useful for dodging all those uh, attacks, but for you, sure. 
That's Marco, you're the only man for me. Let's not worry about that. Let's just uh, worry about giving this big boy uh, something you won't forget so soon. Hit, please! Lost to this rabble. Your Grace, are you injured? Silvaria, plans for the Marmota must be adjusted to account for these failures. In due time, Grace, you're in danger here. My men will see you to safety. Yes! We managed to beat that thing back! Nice work out there, Lieutenant. To join you there. Welks, the enemy forces have begun to retreat. Then it's our turn to advance. Don't let Maximilian get away. Hey, um, we even got a B-Ray. Yeah. Although I'm honestly having a hard time seeing how we could have done this much quicker. Well, I guess uh, if we'd had more lancers or higher level lancers we could have finished that thing off in one turn instead of two so yeah but other than that I think we just did everything about that went about as well as we could have expected it to much better honestly so yeah no complaints here and we've got a cool gun for our trouble too. I guess it would have been a very short game if that took him and we w would take out the main bad guy in the 7th mission. We drove the Empire back, but not without sustaining heavy casualties ourselves. I never thought the commander of the entire Imperial force would be there. Not just the commander. Maximilian had that woman with him. What was she? I can't believe she's human. In her hands, born Cobalt Lance and Shield. Therewith to strike down all man's arrows. What? One account of the Valkyrie describes them in those terms. You can't mean that she... But they existed thousands of years ago. If they'd survived, we'd know. I'm not saying I'd buy all the legends either. I realize that it sounds a little crazy. But what we saw out there could only have been the Valkyria of legend. I know. Chapter 8, The Woodland Snare Well, but before we deal with that, let's deal with some Report. other stuff. Largo's Passion. 
because off screen I did uh, do two skirmish battles uh, in order to farm a little bit and I guess they made because I was kind of worried that this uh, boss fight was going to be a lot tougher than it actually ended up being and while doing that uh, I got enough money to uh, unlock one of the Miss Ellard's reports. Uh, this one's about Largo, so before we continue with the main story, let's let's actually check out our headquarters first, and then let's check out some miscellaneous bullshit. Welkin, bro, I. Let's see. Map. Okay, we can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, one point more of damage. Not sure it's all that. That's all that great, but hey. guess it's more like 20 points more potential damage considering every burst has 20 shots so yeah nothing amazing but hey it's not like uh, I'm spending the money on anything else yep still can't do anything with those Cool armor upgrades, nope. Okay, what about the evil vice? Sure, give me my HP, I don't mind. <laughs> Periscope. Additional accuracy is always very welcome. What are the other upgrades? Spare threads? Mm. Don't really. Uh, didn't really have to worry too much about threat damage so far. Same here. Yeah, I think I'll pass at least for now. Come back and Hey! Dropping by to read the writing on the wall? That's a good man. And let's see what the news have to say about our exploits. Militia routes, uh a uh, Sentry Galleon Command reports that a recent chance encounter with Maximilian, Imperial Commander of the Galleon Invasion, near the ruins in Central Barriers, ended in the Empire's defeat and retreat from the Badlands. Speaking with one Galleon soldier who fought in the desert operation, we read a shocking eyewitness account of one female soldier among the Empire's army batting a tank shell out of the air by brute force. Army doctors looked into the possibility of combat stress induced hallucination, but several other testimonies have arisen to corroborate this wide account. Our reports suggest she resembled one of the Valkyria of legend, while the Galleon army has issued no further statement on the matter. And a new load in Galleon Southeast. Chief Wellens of the Galleon Geological Survey reported recent uh, discoveries of three new loads of ragnite amid the south southeastern mountains. Imperial capture of the key cities in a ragnite ridge in northern Gallia has meant a steady drain on domestic productivity. 
compared with the rising demand for ragnite for military uses, scarcity of the ore has become a critical problem. At the latest survey meeting, Chief Wellen stated that the new discovery would likely go a long way toward filling the vacuum that has haunted the Galleon energy supply of late. Investigations into the size and quality of the newly found load are currently on the way. The ragnite must flow. So, come to make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? And um, actually not right now. Since we still need come to back be and with see the writing Lagos on the wall extra. again soon. I'll be waiting for you. With Lagos special. Hello again, son. I'm sorry. I hope we'll meet again. Hmm. Hello, well... Oh, and there have been some new recruits. You should take a look at the master list. Okay, we've got Hamas, we've got Cat... Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Ted is, uh, even in, I think the first game came out in 2008 and people were already making powerful sta uh, statements against uh, bisexual erasure. I think we're going to to pick up Ted, but who do, are we going to kick out for him? Thanks for everything, Welkin. Just give me a call if you need me. Oh. What? It's over already? Well, that's fine. If you need... Thank you. Hello. I'm Ted Ustinov, and I've got some great new material for you. Yeah. The number one reason why I'm picking Ted is just that, uh, basically, uh, it, it's nice to have someone who tells even worse jokes than me uh, around here. And let's also pick up Kobe because uh, we need some not 15 year old representation. Name's here. Kobe Caird, boyo. Looks to me like we're gonna see a lot of each other. Anyone that's cool. Thanks for everything. Okay. Yeah, I think we'd be picking Dallas because she My works name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Because she works well with Alicia, uh, you know. I I guess I might occasionally pay attention to those kinds of things. I don't think I've actually shown off a, like a special extra team attack uh, yet so yeah let's see if maybe we can make that happen come back anytime you need to change your lineup lieutenant welcome trade all 
you. I got no use for tears. Good work, Mac. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're getting to the level where uh, orders are Fight actually the bullet. No pain, going to no be gain. useful. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the Lancers. And I think I'll try getting the scouts to level 10, because if I remember correctly, at level 10, a bunch of stuff gets unlocked. Uh, Bite the bullet! No And it seems achievable. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. Hmm. One second. While I save. Starving. Why do they call us here at lunchtime? Ah, oh, you always get snippy the minute your stomach rumbles, Largo. Sorry, guys. Have you been waiting long? I'll get right to the briefing. You may already be aware of the recent hike in food prices. I do remember one worker at the mess hall mentioning that produce prices were rising. Apparently, the Empire has taken hold of the trade route farmers use to ship their stock. What did you say? Vegetable crisis grips Gallia. Not a very exciting headline. You mocking the power of vegetables? Oh, boy. What? I was just... What's your problem? Vegetables are like bombs packed tight with all kinds of important nutrients. Kids gotta eat them to grow up right. And the body's practically made of vegetables. Uh... Which are like bombs? In any case, Squad 7's next mission is to clear that trade route of Imperials. All right, time to put the fear of veggies into these imps. The fear of veggies? Is he serious? It's been like two minutes since this game's been incredibly stupid, so I'm glad we're back on track. You will now be briefed on the operation. Uh, operation Capture the Carrot. Liberate the Legumes. Or however that's pronounced. This mission will be fought on the outskirts of Vassal. An enemy blockade has restricted traffic along this route. Fear of combat spilling over into civilian dwellings here prevents us from making this large-scale operation. You'll have to leave your tank on the sidelines and lead a small force of foot soldiers into the village. Your, <coughs> your objective is to destroy the two tanks standing by on the road ahead. You're likely to face heavy fire from those tanks if you just march along the road. Maybe a the long way around, but you're better off heading through the village and securing a spot to attack safely. I'm afraid we can't spare medic to accompany a team as small as the one you'll be taking in. To compound things, this is a night op. You'll be dealing with less visibility than you're used to. There will be no sideline to targets more than a certain distance away, and you can spot them in action mode. Consequently, if even one of your soldiers falls in combat, you're to pull out immediately. Mission failure. 
That's a lot of special conditions and requirements. Be extra careful as you plan to move out there. One final note, you won't have your tank's wireless setup, so you won't be able to issue orders during this mission. Yeah. So... This is kind of a commander raid, and of course we need to put Take Largo with us and Waken 2, and I think... Uh, yeah... I think Alicia's probably the best call to take with us as a third person. Because she works well with Waken, and yeah... Uh, options are kind of limited, so... All right, we're set to begin. See if we can save this, uh... The bastard! This is a stealth operation. Yeah, I got it. Now let's go get violent for vegetables! Um, you wanna work with me here, Largo? Ready to go. Okay, let's be quiet. You're being sneaky. Secure that transport route. Anyone over there? Hostile sighted. Take this. Luckily, the enemy is a pretty dead. Yes. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Enemy sighted! Stay tucked away in the shadows. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. to go. Oh dear. Now! Okay. Yes! Good work. Keep it up. Anyone over there? Hostile sighted! This. I guess I shouldn't be forgetting about Lago entirely. They can't see you. It's uh, still the only, only version. We've got a better upgrade. Let's see. Can we actually get a hit on him from here? No! That's a big no, I guess. All units, watch your surroundings. Ah, well. Gotta change that in the next mission. I mean, your regular weapons get upgraded uh, as soon as you unlock a new version of them. So you don't have to keep track of those, but uh, since Alicia is using one of those Imperial guns, which basically is a little less accurate, but does a uh, bunch more damage. Uh, 
Well, if he's using an enemy rep, man, those don't upgrade automatically since we've only got a very limited supply of them. Pull it together. But nice work. Keep taking them down. It's still doing the job it's supposed to. Oh dear. Okay. Hmm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Please hit. Been waiting here. Don't know about cleanly, but sure. Ready to go. Take this. I would argue that was pretty yes. quick. You're doing consider. well. Just keep it up. Frontline strong. That seems like ambush central. Let's wait for the others to move up. Been waiting here. Uh. Stay sharp if you want to keep your head. My turn, okay? Enemy unit spotted. Oh. Keep that front line strong. Gasling, so. <clears throat> Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Okay. Uh. Please hit. Oh dear. Doesn't seem to be Enemy very tank spotted. By Brace that. yourselves for incoming fire. Oh, but I guess we can use that to ready to go. Him. Ideally. Let's see. No. Try to stop. Nah. Oh, okay. Supposedly it should just take us five bullets to kill him. Now. Yes! Target so silenced! The other person intended me to be able to do that like this, but hey. Just watch this. Stay tucked away. Oh no, please don't, please don't, please don't, no, 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 no. 
Okay? Try to approach the enemy's blind spot. <clears throat> Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Lago back down for a moment. Now! Nice work. Keep taking them down. Okay? nature. Keep 
Ja. Here we go. Ah, gotta love nature. Enemy sighted. That's the rock out there. Just watch this. Get back here a lot. Yeah, fuck your asshole. Nice work. Keep taking them down. Enemy sighted. Moving out. Slightly, uh, slightly tougher, but honestly, not all that much. Uh, it also means we can do stuff like yeah! this. Although I feel like at this point, uh, going for the crits is probably the Just better choice. Because uh, even if this is a safe way, safer way to take them out, uh, it's also going to be very, very slow. So, uh, Just watch this. Open 
Been waiting here. for a second. Operation complete. Both enemy tanks neutralized. That should end our vegetable shortage. Haha. <laughs> I ever tell you my old man's a farmer? Feels good to know I'm helping farm folk out. Growing up on the farm, I was always helping with the harvest, out there in the field. I'm serious when I say veggies are king, too. The more you eat, the healthier you get. Yeah, remember that, kids? Put down those, uh... Those Doritos you are just picking up. I can see you eating them there. You look disgusting. Disgusting. Just eat something healthy once in a while, jeez. I agree. A lot of nutrients vegetables offer can't be found anywhere else. Plus, I feel like vegetables are a way to take in the power of nature as a whole. Power of nature, huh? Yeah. Plants grow by absorbing energy from the sun, the soil, even tiny microbes. Eating vegetables is like getting all that natural energy right from the source. <laughs> Never heard veggies told quite like that before. I tell you, boss, you got your head on right. You got my mark. <laughs> Thanks, Largo. That means a lot to me. Hey, boss, let me tell you a stupid dream I had. My folks' old farm went under, and I want to start it up again, as an organic veggie farm. Funny, huh? Big Macho Man goes from flinging bullets to being king of the carrot patch. I'm not laughing. If you're dedicated, I'm sure you'll grow some fine vegetables. Once you're all set up and harvesting, you'll have to let me sample what you've grown. Boss, you'd be welcome to eat all you wanted. But, you'd have to help with the harvest. And out on the farm, I'm squad leader. Be ready for the workout of your life. Oh boy. Ha ha ha! I'm feeling good today! Veggies for all! Who could have known that Largo's uh, big secret is that he's as stupid as everybody else? Now that we've got that behind us, let's see if let's level up some stuff and uh, I don't think that's going to have unlocked well any thing here, right? Nope. Yeah, I think I'm Come. still going to hold off 
of um, investing in all our tank traps and so on. But let's uh, right. Let's actually change out Alicia's gun. I don't really mind. I mean, the boost in range for the Guardian 4 is pretty nice, but damage boost is. You know, if you get up close and personal, it's kind of nice to know that you're actually going to deal with those people. I feel like right the range, range is nice, it's kind of, at least for me, it's kind of hard to set up good overwatch position where that comes in really helpful, so let's go with this instead. Speaking of which, I think we did pick up some... Yeah... Now, yeah, we did pick up some Imperial submachine guns too, and here it's the same idea, basically uh, changing range and accuracy for more de close range damage, but I feel like 80 range is basically being able to, to outgun, outrange those guys, uh, I feel like 80 to 200 that's too big of a, or 200 to 80 that's too big of a drop honestly to make it worth it so I think we're going to hold on to that did we nope no imperial rocket launchers and let's see if we can welcome trade Good work, mate. No, I guess we're not a lead after all. I got no use for tears. Sweat. Okay, let's let our other guys down. Looks like that session being a new potential. See if we can get people to level five at least. You're better than this. Push those limits. Good work. You're better than this. Push those limits. Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgris. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin, we should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. If you get hurt! Largo! We've gotta move our butts now! Two more minutes and we'll be dead! Damn! No choice. Take cover! 
Come on, Isara. Now! Right. Nope. Can't believe they're all fucking dead. Where? Welkin? Oh, good. You're awake. Where are we? Is everyone all right? It looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Ah! Scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. Sorry, I know it hurts. But you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. Alicia, here's a map of the area. Looks like they've got us surrounded. There will only be two, two units out there, and your positions are pretty determined. Hmm. Okay. You must reach the destination to the north to escape the peri perimeter they've set up out there. Due to darkness, you'll be dealing with far more limited visibility than you're accustomed to. You see no start line for enemies more than a certain distance away and be unable to see them in action mode. Yeah, basically, just like last mission. And we also don't have a tank or our All right. ability to give orders. But to make matters worse, uh, wow, it's really gotten dark. I was trying to. The speak lack of light there, means it's harder to see enemies in the distance. So watch out. Is your ankle gonna make it? Sorry. I don't know how much I can run like this. That's all right. You set the pace and I'll follow. Is that sound a mortar? Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. So yeah, this is uh, the greatest of all uh, video game missions. It's an escort mission. Uh, or, well, I guess, does it still count as an escort mission if you're controlling the uh, person being escorted? Uh, but yeah. We need to get over there, and uh, that's all there is to it, but along the way there's going to be a whole bunch of trouble. Here we go! And... Okay, there's some... Mines. Enemy sighted! Hey, Welkin, what's that light? Oh, that's a luciferant. It's bioluminescent, the same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferant feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. So yeah, this is kind of like a sneaking mission, uh, but luckily... The game doesn't actually fail you if you uh, get spotted, but things get a little bit... Things get a lit little bit dicier, so it's uh, in our best interest to not get spotted. And But yeah, uh, as I was saying, 
obviously there's a bunch of enemies. We only two. My two turn, okay. None of which uh, can die, but I'm worse. Uh, Alicia, well, she don't she don't do the walking thing too good, and uh, yeah, she's only got a very limited amount of a uh, movement points. But luckily, uh, we actually turn, okay? can do something about that. If we can drag ourselves over to this weird glowing plant, we can now do something. Well, once we are playing Welcome again. And yeah, the uh, enemy is just going to randomly start shelling the area. And but if we get spotted, the fire is going to get more precise. So here we go. It's in our best interest to stay out of the line, the line of sight. These leaves. Great. This is Ponisera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. It... it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponisera growing nearby. Enemy sighted! Okay, got one of the yes! cells. But you might have noticed we now got when we were hit by those this dude, uh, we got that little pop up t telling us that our defenses are down because uh, there's actually debuffs in this <sighs> game. Gotta love nature. Like uh, certain weapons can lower. Uh, lower specific uh, if you hit enemies with them or get hit by enemies who are equipped with them they can lower your stats with searchlights this is bad news what do you figure will happen if they see us they'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see them land a whole lot closer and yeah this debuffs can get my list pretty of good annoying things. later on. We better keep our heads down out here. Okay, let's not get spotted. Alright. I guess I'm in the clear. Okay. And yeah, even though Alicia's still just limping along, uh, you can see her movement bar has gotten a bit bigger. Unfortunately, you can't shoot out those searchlights. Uh, believe me, I've tried, but I might as well try again. Ready to go.
Enemy sighted. Take this. Remember, folks, it's important. Folks, it's important to stay sneaky. And but I keep forgetting that we've only got three command points. Now. Instead of four. nice thing about the weapon variants that uh, apply those debuffs is that they do a lot less damage than the regular variants. Sure, keep blowing up that spot, see if I care. Okay. I guess they hurt me. My turn, okay? Can I limp out of the way just in time? Okay. Um. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to have the mini mm. map. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Open for this, uh, because you really don't want to be uh, caught. Uh. In range of those mortars. No enemy over here, but more magic. Planned. Good. Ready to go. Alicia, here's some more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. All right. Oh, thanks. It hurts even less now. That's good, but still, don't push yourself. Enemy sighted! Oh dear. It's him. Uh, let's wait until the next... Uh, come to the next turn before dealing with this asshole. If at all possible. that actually worked because usually the thing why he's called tidy immortal is because ah and I guess the the searchlights won't see us if we're if we're in the grass 
but basically the thing about Tai is that he's got like very high evasion skills so in like 90% of cases Ready we to go. would have dodged that but I guess we got lucky. Eh, let's not even bother. Okay? Ah. Uh, shit. Fuck. I... Look, it's... It's getting a little late over here. I sometimes make mistakes, right? Uh, let's hope... It just does a whole lot of damage <laughs> and not... Can't beat the smell like of fresh soil! ...instant death amounts of damage. He's right on the edge, okay? That wasn't as bad as I was worrying about. Ooh, there's some more Ponisera again. Oh, the pain's mostly gone now. Thanks again. I'm just glad it's working. So, Welkin, um, is that stuff edible? Why? Are you hungry? Huh? No, I'm just... I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. Oh, I see. Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. Uh, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods and you're thinking of baking bread. I don't want to hear it, nature boy. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's move on. Okay, this is pro Let's get Alicia there too. My turn, okay? Yeah, she can unfortunately she can run quite yet, but she can certainly cover a lot more ground now than she could before. Almost home free. There we go. Phew. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. build a cottage way out here. Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. 
It just figures you'd know about herbs, Walken. Let's go for 20. Yeah. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the first European war. She fell out of the guard tower. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him. That question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin. Yeah, let's watch some more cutscenes, but I don't think I'm going to play the next mission on st uh, this time. Uh, on this stream, I think I'll keep that for next time because uh, I'm getting pretty tired over here. I don't know. I didn't have any coffee this, uh, uh, Alicia, this morning. Alicia, someone's coming. Freeze! Uh, Woken, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Help me! Woken, do something! Well? It's no use. The wound's way too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh, God, Mother! Mother! It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... Find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing. Isara, how about you quit messing around and help us look? The Edelweiss still requires maintenance. Your own brother's gone missing here, and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look? 
It's because he's missing that I'm doing this. We have no idea when he'll be back, but... Making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for... <sighs> Not like I care either way. I hear what you're saying, kid. Just be sure you rest up while you can. You've been working since first thing this morning. You're Squad 7's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us, we're all toe up, hear me? Getting a good night's rest is another thing you can do for your brother right now. It's some talk about sleeping. I'm having trouble enough staying awake as if. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Largo. Oh, sure. for that poor man. He was lying there asking me for help, but all I could do was watch him die. That's not true. You helped him in a way only you could, Alicia. <clears throat> the look on his face when he passed on wasn't one of pain. No, I guess you're right. Thank you, Welkin. Can all help our, uh, help out the war effort in our own ways. Some of us can be medics, some of us can be snipers, some of us can drive tanks, some of us can be mommy GFs. I'd always just thought of the Imperials as monsters out to kill Gallians. But they're just as human as we are, huh? With families of their own to fight for. But they also do seem to be doing a bunch of very unnecessary war crimes, like uh, shooting civilians for absolutely zero reason. It's like the war started and we all forgot that. It's so simple, but if we weren't at war, he might be back at home with his family now. <sighs> hey, Welkin. Did I ever tell you I don't have one? A family, I mean. I grew up in an orphanage. I don't even know my parents' names. No, you didn't. But maybe I'm actually lucky, huh? If you... If you never have a family in the first place, you can't ever lose them. I guess being all alone has its perks. <laughs> <laughs> don't even joke about it. You know you're not alone. You've got me and East, everybody in Squad 7. We're all a family now, Alicia. Squad 7? A family? It's okay. My family, uh... A bunch of children, racists, and perverts too. Nah, that's not true. Sure. I'm the dad, you're the mom, Rosie and Isara are like daughters. And Largo is the grandpa. Come on, can't you see it? <laughs> if he heard that, you know Largo would kick your butt. Sure, we have our share of fights, but they say that best friends fight the most, right? Yeah. So don't go saying you're all on your own, you hear me? All right, Welkin. And thanks. They belong to Fritz, sir. Not Fritz. Are you two the ones who laid him to rest? Yes. There are signs of medical treatment inside the cabin, sir. Why then? 
Explain to me the reasons you had to save his life. He was delirious. He was crying out for his mother. We may be enemies in this war, but we all have families waiting for us at home. As a human being, I couldn't just sit by and watch a man in pain without trying to do something. We always called him a mama's boy, sir. And now... Sorry, Fritz. I wish we could have been there for you. And you, son, do you have a family? Yes. I have a younger sister. And I have another sort of family as well. I have the soldiers of my squad. I see. I have a wife and daughter back at home. I feel the same as you. My men are like a second family to me. Thank you. Thank you for honoring Fritz as you did. I'm sure his mother will appreciate it. I suppose we'll meet again on the battlefield. I'm sorry for that. You both seem like good people. For now, so long. Well, I guess we should hurry back and join the squad. You're right. I feel like I'm harping on about it a lot, but I like scenes like that that uh, like show the humanity of every side in the war and so on. They would work a lot better if uh, the Empire wasn't just introduced by like in the first uh, mission throwing a gr some dude to throwing a grenade in a a truck full of civilians and then uh, machine gunning uh, the guys uh, coming out of it. Uh, no, it kind of makes it a little bit harder to take this seriously. But, yeah. Uh, nah, I, I don't think I'll be doing this next battle right now, but I will be re reading some lore. Let's see if we found out anything new about um, various uh, people. for the unlicensed planting of vegetables on army property. Though the fruits of his labor earned accolades from foodies across the base. <laughs> ah, and I guess Rosie never went to high school and also didn't get a high school level military indoctrination. Makes you feel real calm, doesn't it? Just a slowly rotating baby. If only we all could be slowly rotating babies. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. 
Oh yeah, Kobe, we haven't used him yet, but hey, well, he joined our squad this time around, and as you might expect, he fought in EW1, and I guess he's a carpenter, and he's got a bad back. Okay, Haynes is an exhibitionist. I guess Wavy is doing it all for his family. Montley, who I can't really remember. Alright, oh, he's... <laughs> he likes to run a lot. Noach, or Nochi, Nose, I don't know. Uh, in any case, he's got a hard on for Alicia, although she doesn't seem to care about him at all. Well, the only two things that can stop this vibrant gods, uh, girl are ghosts and roaches. That'll do it for most people, I guess. Little sneezes are just adorable. A mother hen by nature, he worked as a babysitter before in this name. Since then, he's busied himself preparing meals and baking treats for his crush, Lago. Aww. And I guess Yoko's got some ex-husband issues. Pain and misfortune yield blissful joy for this twisted cherub. A trait that likely explains his choice to 
join the war effort. Well, I guess he experienced some pain and misfortune when we kind of had him killed. How the hell are you? 25. Set to grant opportunities to talented subordinates regardless of social rank, he is also known to re ruthlessly dispose of anyone useless to his purposes. I see. I guess uh, he believes in meritocracy as well as to imperial rule. going to read all of that but uh, let's learn about flying pigs. A winged cousin to the common pig found in wooded areas in Central Europe. Generally smaller than other porcines, porcine this subspecies is further distinguished by the wing shaped appendages that grow from its back. Because it is incapable of flight, the biological term wing does not strictly apply. Wait a second. You, you gotta be able to fly to call them wings. Then what do penguins have? Huh. I guess you learn something new every day. Though some have argued that its wings are an a adaptation that makes these pigs better suited to life in their habitat, no convincing explanation of Procavian evolution has emerged. Affectionate and intelligent, they are sometimes kept as pets. I like that uh, even the game is, l <laughs> is like, okay, yeah, we know this is kind of bullshit, but uh, it's really cute, okay? I can appreciate the honesty.
Hmm. Well, that's all very fascinating, but, um... Uh, let's not, uh... Let's not worry about that stuff right now. Let's save and then call it a night. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, I sure did, even if I was kind of yawning for half of it. But that's not... That's not the game's fault. That's just being a sleepy boy. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye!